learning mathematics so that you can learn another field is a very ambitious endeavor. And I want to start this video by saying props to everyone who is out there trying to learn math so that they can study something else. For example, maybe you want to learn physics and you're trying to learn calculus. That takes a lot of work because not only do you have to learn the calculus, you also have to learn the physics. Or maybe you're trying to learn, you know, aerospace engineering. That's a hard subject. So you have to learn the calculus and you actually have to learn the engineering. So it's a tough endeavor. And in this video, I want to address that. So I received an email from a subscriber here on the channel. His name is Patrick and the subject is, where do I start? I'm a commercial pilot from Michigan. I want to study and understand the principles of aerodynamics and aircraft design. Almost all aerodynamics textbook, textbooks require advanced math. I have no problem learning it, but I don't know where to start. I have a master's degree in statistics, but it was an applied program, meaning no calculus was required. I took your Trig 1 class and I'm taking your Trig 2 now. I started your Calc class in parallel and was immediately clotheslined by the need for Trig in the second lecture on limits. Do I stop Calc and finish Trig 2? Do I push forward with Calc and learn what I can? I've heard you say before, if you want to learn calculus, you have to do calculus. I'm not sure what to do now. Any advice would be helpful. I understand um, your question, Patrick, and I think it's, it's a tough one because I understand that time is an issue, right? You mentioned that you're a commercial pilot from Michigan, so you work, you have a full-time job. I don't know what that entails, but I'm assuming um, it's a lot of work. And the fact that you're self-studying math on top of that to you know, learn aerodynamics and aircraft design, I think is commendable and amazing. So my advice is uh, don't stop calc. Try to do them at the same time. Try to do calc and trig two at the same time. Try to do it both. Maybe try to separate it. Uh, do a little bit each day. Uh, on one day, you might want to do calc. On one day, you might want to do trig. Try to do what you feel motivated to do. And you're right, if you want to learn calculus, you have to do calculus. At the same time, if you want to learn aerodynamics and aircraft design, you actually have to do those things. And those are advanced subjects and they are gonna take some math. So once your calculus is better, you'll be able to look at those books and slowly start to decipher the knowledge in those books. But it's still gonna be really, really hard, right? Um, you know, aerospace, uh, engineering, aerodynamics, that stuff is really, really tough and understanding it is even tougher. I, I think that most people who study, you know, advanced subjects, they don't necessarily understand all of it. Even math, you know, I always tell people when, when I was a student and I was in advanced math classes, even basic math classes, I would understand roughly 60 to 70% of what was being taught in a class. So when you do self-study, it's even harder because you don't have anyone there helping you, uh, but at least you have videos and uh, assignments and stuff like that. So that does, does help. So my advice is try to do what you feel motivated to do on any given day. So for example, let's say today is Wednesday and you wake up and you're like, I don't know if I should do trigger calculus. Pick one and go with it and pick the one that you feel like you want to do because when you're motivated to do something, you're going to learn more. You know, if, 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 I, if I'm motivated to learn number theory, I'll pick up this book and I'll start learning number theory. But if I don't feel like doing it today, I'm gonna have a harder time doing it. And I understand the, the struggle between, you know, decision paralysis, you know, what do you study? Just pick one and go with it. Pick the one that you, you feel more interested in learning. And I think that's the best way. And I think you might go farther that way. Also, I think it might be a good idea to start learning about aerodynamics if you can, you know, once you know some more calculus and you know, like, you know, basic derivatives and integrals and understand some basic topics, then you can start uh, pursuing that a little bit more. But yeah, big endeavors, you know, a full-time job, commercial pilot, trying to learn uh, something advanced like that. I think that's, that's commendable and it's awesome. I like what you say. If you want to learn calculus, you have to do calculus. Yeah, and the same applies though for aerodynamics and aircraft design. If you want to do those things, if you want to learn those things, you actually have to do those things, right? So it's tough. It's tough. Hopefully uh, my answer has been helpful. Uh, another answer that might be helpful is to get more books on aerodynamics and aircraft design. Try to get used books on the internet. You can probably find 
older books and, and then try to study that a little bit every day on top of the mathematics. So even though you don't understand all of it, at least you're getting exposure to it and you're seeing it. And then over time, it'll slowly start to sink, sink in. You know, if you, if you do the same thing every day, or if you look at something every day over a long enough timeline, you're going to start to absorb it. You'll start to think about it differently and it, it can make a difference. So that when you do learn that calculus and you do reread that information, it will make a little bit more sense. But don't stop learning. Keep trying. I think it's really cool that you actually care about actually understanding the material because I think that there's not that many people who do, right? I really don't. I think a lot of people, including myself, you know, when I was in physics, I would memorize a bunch of things and just try to get through the tests. So understanding is a whole other level. And the fact that you're trying to get there, I think is awesome. If anyone else has advice for Patrick, you know, leave a comment in the comment section below. Remember, when you leave comments, uh, I really think it helps other people. You know, people from all over the world read these comments and especially for something like, you know, aerodynamics and aircraft design. That's a pretty, pretty specialized thing. Also, if you want to learn mathematics, Patrick is actually talking about uh, my courses, which I have. They're on Udemy, but if you want to learn math, please use the links uh, from my website, mathsourcer.com. When you use those links, it really helps me. Also, I've lowered the price to make the courses really low in price. So when you click the links through my website, I'm pretty sure you'll get a low price. And He's taking uh, Trig 1, Trig 2, and the Calc course. The Calc course does require Trig, so you need to know some basic Trig uh, before you take that. I also have Calc 2, Calc 3, Abstract Algebra, Advanced Calculus, a bunch of courses on there uh, if you want to learn math. Also, if you're not a subscriber and you found any value in this content, consider hitting subscribe today if you want to. And also, I do have another channel, The Fitness Sorcerer. I post mostly fitness stuff and other random stuff uh, there as well if you want to learn about fitness or get fit or whatever. So yeah. But yeah, commendable. Um, really intense, Patrick. Uh, it's, it's the understanding part is what really got me because it's not just, not, you're not just trying to learn, you're trying to understand. And I think that that takes extra effort. And you're going to get a lot of that from reading because when you read books, I feel like sometimes that's when you get like the really good understanding because you can, you can go to class and you can take notes and you can learn some stuff. But when you sit down and read, there's something about reading those books that makes it stick in your mind. It makes a big impact. So yeah, get more books on those subjects if you can. And then as far as the math, continue to do both and just learn what you feel motivated to learn on any given day. Try to make it fun. Try to make it enjoyable. If, if today you want to learn about aerodynamics, do that. If tomorrow you want to go back and do trig because you're burnt out on the aerodynamics and you don't understand it and you're fed up, do that. If the next day you want to do calculus, do that. Do what you are motivated to do. That is one of the beauties of self-study and that's what makes it so productive because you can focus on what you want to learn. And when you want to learn something, you learn it better. I hope it's been helpful. Keep doing mathematics.